Art Goes to School of the Delaware Valley. This educational program is brought to you by Art Goes to School, making fine art accessible to elementary school students since 1962. Three Discs, One Lacking by Alexander Calder. Lesson Highlights, Public Art in Philadelphia, Calder's Mobiles and Stabiles, Joan Miro and Calder. Three Discs, One Lacking by Alexander Calder. This painted steel sculpture was made in 1968 and is found on the Benjamin Franklin Parkway in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Alexander Sandy Calder came from a distinguished family of Philadelphia sculptors. This work is located on the Benjamin Franklin Parkway, thoughtfully placed between City Hall and Logan Square, where the artist's father and grandfather each have famous sculptures. Have you ever been to Philadelphia? In this slide, we see four photographs. On the left, an image of Philadelphia. Calder's father's sculpture at Logan Square in the forefront and City Hall in the distance with his grandfather's sculpture of William Penn on top. In the middle, we see a detailed image of William Penn. To the right, we have our sculpture of three discs, one lacking, and beneath it, a more detailed image. The empty space on the lacking disc frames the famous statue of William Penn created by Alexander Milne Calder, the artist's grandfather. Alexander Calder is best known for his mobiles, sculptures that incorporate movement. His stationary works, like Three Discs, One Lacking, are referred to as stabiles. Although fixed to the ground, the sculpture seems to change as you move around it. In the center photograph, we see purple arrows. Can you imagine yourself walking around the sculpture, crawling under it, standing over it? How do you think it would change? To the left of our sculpture picture, we see an example of one of Alexander Calder's mobiles. On the right, we see a picture of Alexander Calder's studio. Alexander Calder and Joan Miro. Calder and Miro were great artists who also happened to be very close friends. Both had a passion for toys and play, which is evident in their art. The photograph in the middle is of the two artists, Miro on the left and Calder on the right. The photograph on the left is of an exhibit of Alexander Calder's mobiles. And on the right, Carnival of the Harlequin by Miro. Beneath these images, we read a quote by Alexander Calder. It reads, well, the archeologists will tell you there's a little bit of Moreau in Calder and a little bit of Calder in Moreau. In purple, we're asked if we can see a little bit of Calder in Moreau's painting and a little bit of Moreau in Calder's sculptures. Our final slide for Three Discs, One Lacking by Alexander Calder gives us two questions to consider and an activity. First, what title would you give this sculpture? If you could ask the artist a question, what would it be? Our activity, create your own stable or mobile cut out playful and colorful shapes from thick paper and intersect the pieces for a stabile. Or use string to hang shapes from a coat hanger for a mobile. 
I hope you enjoyed our Art Goes to School portfolio presentation. For more information on Art Goes to School, how to become a volunteer, or how to share our program with others, please go to our website at www.artgoestoschool.org. Thank you.